College basketball season is upon us. It sort of sneaks up on us each year, partly because we're distracted with other sports, but it's also because college basketball doesn't exactly come in like a lion. It sort of enters with its head low and its shoulder against the wall, like a dog that just took a whiz on the carpet in the next room. And for good reason. For our local teams, I mean, the games they played last week weren't exactly resume material. You and I played Wartburg. Iowa and Iowa State treated us to two separate looks at North Carolina A&T. And the kids whose parents took them to see Drake or Iowa State play Ooey Pooey almost certainly came away thinking Ooey Pooey was the best way to describe those actual games. Yeah, tis the season for college basketball to turn itself into the red light district in Amsterdam. And half the teams are willing to be a prostitute, and the other half are guilty of hiring one. These lousy, passionless games are supposed to be just that. I mean, they're warm-ups, easy wins, like dropping a goldfish into your piranha tank. The big school pays the small one to come play, come lose, and the fans have to pay to see it. 12th-ranked Texas played Houston Christian last week. Longhorn fans were treated to a 51-point nail-biter. Number five, Baylor led Mississippi Valley State by 40 at the half. I mean, if these contests were in ancient Rome, Maximus would ask, are you not entertained? And the crowd would answer, no, we're not. And Maximus would say, well, good. You're not supposed to be entertained. If you were, well, it didn't work. Sam Houston State beat Oklahoma. Louisville lost to some name, a team named Bellarmine. I mean, the games were great, but the fans were grossed out. You either beat the team you're supposed to beat and get no credit or lose and deservedly get all the blame. That's not what we're in this for. We're told it's necessary. Big teams need the practice, the wins, the gate, and we just go along with them and watch and maybe even pay to get in. But after it's over, nobody wants another helping. We just want the real stuff to begin. I'm Andy Fails, and that's what's bugging me.